Next, we want to talk about the products levels settings. Okay, products levels. Uh, in within profits team membership uh, building features, you can add unlimited products and unlimited membership levels. Okay, so products means the uh, products or levels means the you can add uh, unlimited products or you can add unlimited membership levels. Okay, so to add a new product or membership level, you just need to. Uh, type something here. So in our photography okay, uh, example, I'm going to type in a photography free for a free membership site. But before that, uh, okay, free membership site. Payment processor is free. Okay, uh, it says, do I want to enable auto respond integration? I check this box to enable, and then I choose the A Weber or or the get response or MailChimp, whichever applies to you. Okay, and then you also need to uh, specify your autoresponder email address uh, for Aweber and all private labels. And you need to read the instructions here. Okay, for the, because different autoresponders have different uh, requirements and settings. Okay, get response, MailChimp. Uh, read the instructions here. So uh, you can uh, please watch the uh, please see the t tutorials regarding the uh, products and membership levels and regarding the autoresponding integration, because that is covered in in, a sep in separate tutorials. For now, I'm not going to enable autoresponder integration, so I'm going to uncheck this. I click save changes. Okay, there you go. Photography free is here. So it's going to give you an other URL, which you can just copy and paste this URL here. Uh, copy link address, copy and paste this address uh, link URL here and onto your sales page, right? And you will get the other URL. For if I want to have the, uh, the price is going to be specified in That's because this is free. There's there's there there's no price involved, right? Okay. So, but if I add something here, photography, uh, let's say PayPal, and I choose PayPal as my payment processor, it's going to ask for the price. Okay. Let's say I want it to have prices. Let's say one dollar, just for demonstration purposes. PayPal currency US dollar one time payment yes if it's a recur recurring billing you can specify the subscription duration watch uh, please see the instructions here recurring times again please see the instructions over here to the right trial price you can even set a trial price and for how long you want to have your trial duration okay so this is very very popular let's say you want to do a 14 days free trial trial price you can set to zero and trial duration. Uh, sorry, if it, let's say you want a trial price to um, uh, zero for trial price. Uh, if it's free and trial duration, you can, for example, fourteen days. It's very very flexible. So um, I'm not going to choose recurring billing. I'm going to choose one time payment for this demonstration. Okay, return page. Where do you want to return uh, people after the payment is successful? You can uh, again. You can go to the page generator and create a return page okay I'm not going to do that here I'm just going to uh, let's say that uh, I want to read after payment is successful I want them to return to the photography home page membership home page so I choose my photography membership site cancel page what happen if they direct if the payment is cancelled well maybe I want to take them to the uh, content uh, un content access error page okay I can also choose to have auto responder enable auto responder integration just like the free uh, membership system the photography free that I've just showed you I'm not going to do that here I'm going to click save changes okay now let's create another one, the photography clickbank. Okay, payment processor. 
choose Clickbank and then you have to you need the Clickbank product item number and your Clickbank ID okay okay so for example if your Clickbank product item number is one and let's say Clickbank ID is Willy Mulia you click save changes Okay, it will be saved. So, uh, photographic clickbank, for example, this is the other URL, and this is the on your sales page. You want to link your add to cart button with this URL here. So, if I copy and paste into a new uh, tab, okay, it's going to there you go. It's going to uh, go to the clickbank to check out. Okay, and if you use PayPal, then you choose the photography PayPal and copy this URL and on your sales page uh, you link your add to cart button with this URL let's check it out okay okay there you go one dollar photography PayPal all right and for the photography free, you need to click on the link here to learn how to create a free sign up page. Okay, if you click on this link, it will take you, you have to log in and it will take you to, uh, to a tutorial page where you can see how to create, how to um, create a free sign up page. I'm going to go over that just very briefly here. Okay, let me just, you need to go to pages and when you create your setup page, you click add new and you need to choose the template as the landing page template and you need to toggle this membership site template settings, toggle off this one and use the landing page layout settings. Uh, you scroll down and you find an element called the registration plus opt-in form and you want to put this for example on the left or on the right your choice I'm going to put this on the right I don't need this opt-in form just drop it to the inactive elements okay and then I click on the settings here and you need to fill in some information here okay uh, choose a style. I'm going to choose this style. Choose product. Choose product or membership level. Okay, it's the photography free. Okay, successful registration page. Where do you want to redirect members after they have successfully registered? Of course, to the photography membership site. Okay, leave this as the default settings. Yeah, just leave them as they are. Okay, uh, you can choose to show or not to show the name field. I'm going to show the name field. Okay, default text. I'm going to leave this as they are. Open button. Okay, good. Yellow get instant access. Fine. Then I click done. And remember to customize your. You can type some text here to entice your visitors to sign up to your membership site. Fill in your details below to sign. Up for your for our free membership site for example okay this is the main content and headline you can also customize this right I'm, I'm not going to do that once you have done that you need to enter a title here and you click you hit publish okay then let me just show you okay um, let's say this is the photo Photography free, photography free membership sign up. Headline is free membership. Okay, just leave the settings as they are, and then page settings. Okay, I'm just hit click publish. Okay, and then you can view the page here.
okay so this is the free membership setup page for your visitors if you want to offer them a free membership system they can just enter their name and email address and get instant access and because you have specified the registration plus opt-in form here what is showing up here corresponds to what you uh, specified over here because you have linked this uh, uh, opt-in form to the uh, photography free settings photography free uh, product and you have specified the photography free as a free product they once they sign up click in uh, once they fill in their details here and click get instant access they will be added to your free membership system and they will be emailed uh, whatever you have specified here including the login URL the username and the password Okay, if they are buying via Clickbank or PayPal, they will also get this email. Okay. That's it for this video. Let's take a look at the next video.